All this distance, I walked on snowshoes, the snow being on average two feet deep. The distance from Cumberland to Jasper's house is 1,200 miles. During this journey, I slept with no other covering than that found under the friendly pine for the space of 47 nights, on several occasions, the thermometer standing from 30 to 40 below zero. I found no bad effects from exposure. The only thing that happened to me was that once or twice I got slightly frostbit. That was nothing uncommon amongst them. These are the words of young Victorian plant hunter John Jeffrey, who in 1850, aged 22, set off from Scotland on an expedition to collect tree seeds from North America. Backed by wealthy investors, among them Prince Albert, he reported to plant experts at the Royal Botanic Garden in Edinburgh. Tree seeds sent home proved extremely valuable, while in North America his expedition collided with a gold rush. After much early promise, the supply of letters and specimens sent home dwindled. John Jeffrey disappeared in mysterious circumstances just four years after setting out. As a tree hunter and forest scientist myself, I'm in awe of his achievements, yet John Jeffrey's story is virtually unknown. With the help of Unbound Publishing and supporters, I'm retelling his story. It seems fitting that, like Jeffrey's expedition, this book will be made possible thanks to individual supporters. After years of research, reading original minutes, letters and botanical labels, I've unearthed John Jeffrey's extraordinary adventure. My fictional biography fills in the gaps in his story in the guise of his journal, the journal he's obliged to write, but the journal which remained lost until now.